I'm spending the day with myself. Good morning. So today I'm spending the day with myself and I thought it would be fun if we spent it together. So we're starting off the day with a hot girl walk. I just did not want to get out of bed this morning. I don't know why I'm extremely tired for no reason. So hopefully we get some energy going on a hot girl walk. So let's get ready to go on a hot girl walk. Okay, here's a quick little fit check. Super cute, I know. But I've been starting off my mornings with a hot girl walk because if you don't know, I go to school in Maryland. Right now I'm home in Florida and I have just loved and missed the beach. And so I just love doing a little walk in the morning on the beach. I say little, I normally spend like two to three hours just walking with my headphones in. So it normally just like really energizes me and just gets me like started for the day. So I've really enjoyed doing that while I've been home. So let's go on our walk. Let me grab my headphones and then we can go on our walk. some goodies i got a couple seashells for s and s and then i found this sand dollar and i've recently been obsessed with sand dollars but that's what i got so the walk was good it's a little cold out and i need to record a podcast episode so i think i'm gonna change into like some sweats and then record an episode i think it's gonna be adventures and manifesting we'll see how i feel when i start recording but that is the game plan so let's go change so I just got ready to film the podcast. The fit is slaying, super cute and comfy. And so I made a few notes and I'm ready to film the podcast. So we are set up for the pod. I have the recording, I have my mic, and I have my journal. I like to keep like a little outline of notes because I lose my train of thought so quickly. So I just wrote down some notes in Adventures and Manifesting. If you don't already follow the podcast, you totally should. Um, I would describe it as just like a little like mental health kind of podcast. I just like talking about things that I'm going through. Last week we talked about adventures and resolutions for the new year. Happy 2024. And this week we're talking about adventures and manifesting because I've noticed a difference like when I manifest and just like my attitude towards like everything when I'm like manifesting. I think it's more of like a mindset and so that's what I'll be talking about this week so yeah most of the episodes are like 25 to 30 minutes and so after this I'm planning to sit out um by the pool and read my book I'm hoping to finish I'm reading what is it the night she disappeared and so far it's so good I'm 65 percent done and I want to finish so bad so I can finish my first book of 2024 so hopefully I can do that after this but Let's get to recording. So I just recorded the podcast episode. It is episode 14. It is Adventures and Manifesting. And right now I'm trying to, oops, I'm trying to upload it. And so I'm going to finish the uploading process. I have it going for Spotify and Apple right now. And then I have to do YouTube. And then we should be good to go to spend the rest of the day. I want to finish my book so badly. So I'm hoping to sit out by the pool and read. I think it kind of warmed up and it's almost noon, which is like peak UV heat. And so I'm hoping to sit out, but I got to finish this first. So I've uploaded everything for the podcast and I just changed into a bathing suit, grabbed a towel, my sunglasses and my book. And I'm ready to finish this book. <music>
pan, but I just changed into my sweats and then the sun came out. So I changed into this tank top instead of my sweater, but I finished the night she disappeared, which was so good. So good. Like five out of five, like 10 out of 10, like amazing. This is the first book I finished in 2023 and we're off to a really good start. This book was super good, but right now I'm craving an acai bowl. So I think we might go get one, but I just need to talk about how good this book was. So highly recommend it was such a good book. But I am getting hungry for lunch, so I think I'm going to go get an acai bowl. So being home for winter break, my car is in Maryland, and I have to use my parents' cars or rely on my friends, and I feel like I'm... Oh. <laughs> and I feel like I'm... Oh. And I feel like I'm... Oh. And I feel like I'm 15 again because I can't drive. Well, I can drive. I just need a car, and I don't normally have a car, but my mom decided to take a half day today and work from home the second half of the day so I could have the car which was super nice thanks mom and so it's been a bit of a struggle being stuck at home but it's okay we're making it work we've just been reading a lot lately and so I'm just super excited to have a car right now so we can go get an acai bowl which I have been craving because there's this new place that opened up and it's oh my god I also don't have my like phone stand so I'm sorry you keep falling but they opened up this new place by my house and it's so good and so I've been really looking forward to getting another acai bowl I got my bowl it's so good there's like raspberry in the base that just makes it so good and I've never had that before so I just got peanut butter, banana, strawberry, and then acai and granola. So I'm ready to devour this when I get home. I made it back home and I have my acai bowl and I'm ready to devour this. I wanted to watch the sunset tonight, but it's like getting kind of gloomy and I'm scared there are clouds that are just going to be covering the sun and it's not going to be a good sunset. But we'll see. I have high hopes because last two days the sunrise has been really really pretty and the sunset have just been mediocre but the sunrise today was not as pretty so that means the sunset should be pretty if my calculations are correct but it was also able it's really good so i think i'm just gonna chill watch some tv and then head over to the sunset and hopefully it's good tonight so I was chilling on the couch for about an hour and I changed and put the sweater on just because it is a little bit colder outside and I don't want to be too cold for the sunset, but I'm trying to make it my goal to at least see the sunset once a week, just wherever I am, just because I love watching the sunset and I don't get to watch it all the time when I'm in Maryland, especially. So I made it my goal to watch the sunset at least once a week because I can watch it from my parking lot in Maryland. And so now I'm holding myself accountable and we're going to go watch the sunset. So let's go. Um, so it's not looking too good, but we're going to wait it out. Hopefully it gets better. But I usually just like walking the path and just watching the sunset. But the sun, she's, she's kind of hidden today. So yeah, hopefully she pops out at the end. We'll see. popping off so I think I'm gonna call it a day but thank you so much for spending the day with me I hope you had a blast I had a blast and I will see you next time thank you so much for watching